Hey, what's going on? This is your boy Tone Duncan, and you're in tune with the Truth Seekers. I want to talk to you today about how I spent Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday from early morning and all the way until it was time for dinner, which I was a little bit late for. I spent in the intensive care unit with a very close friend of mine who Saturday night had a real serious heart attack. You guys, I am so thankful that he is alive. But you know what? It was lifestyle choices that caused him to almost lose his life. To walk into that hospital room and to see a scared mother, a scared wife, to see children that didn't even know what was going on. Then to go in and see my friend who for the first time in his life understood the severity of the lifestyle choices he was making. You guys, I want to talk to you about what he was doing. He was eating a lot, a lot, a lot of what we consider to be good food. He was eating a lot of fine choice meats. He was eating the best cheeses. He was having gourmet courses. But you know what it was? It was plaque, saturated fat, clogging his arteries. And he almost died. He almost died, you guys. How many of you guys know somebody who had a heart attack that died? Huh? How many people do you know that had a chance but they chose not to use it, who lost their lives, who have been cried for, mourned for, and just missed so sorely by the people they love. But you know what? You can make a change. You have the choice to turn your life around. You have the ability to right now decide to eliminate the foods that are killing you. What are those foods? Dairy, saturated fat from animal foods, and fried foods. Those three things, they are killing you killing you, not just making you fat, not just making you feel tired, sluggish, and, and not your true self. They are killing, they are robbing our families of very important members. Irreplaceable people are leaving every single day never to return. You guys, we have to make a choice. We have to make a change. We have to stand for this now. You have to understand that this is not easy. I understand. I'm somebody who gave up all those foods myself. I know what it's like to think to yourself, well, what am I going to replace it with? Where do I start? What foods are bad for me? What do I do? You guys, it starts off this simple. You have to remove dairy from your diet. You have to remove it from your diet because it is the number one way we're getting in all this saturated fat, cheese, dairy. Number two way we're getting it. Yeah, that's right. Animal meats, animal meats. Number three, fish meats. Yes, all three of them are killing us, but you cannot forget fried foods because no matter how you're frying it, fried foods are killing us right now today. I look at, I look at various uh, backs of the uh, store packaged goods and I'll see baked, fresh baked, but you know what, it's not baked. They fry those things. They put a coating of oil on them and they bake it at a high temperature, which in all, in all uh, means is just frying. It's just frying, you guys. We have to really fight. We have to fight to live. We have to change our diets. Yes, we got to start eating more vegetables. We have to start eating not just starch vegetables, but the real vegetables, the green leafy vegetables, the ones with all the vibrant colors. We got to add those back in and we have to replace the things that we can't eat any longer. We're too smart for this. We are too smart. People are dying from diseases here that they're not even heard of. They're unheard of in other countries because these are called diseases of affluency. That means that you have to be rich to die from what we're dying from. And how many of us know we're not rich, yet we're dying the diseases of the rich, even though most of us live slightly above impoverished. We have to make a change, and we have to make this change not only for our longevity, but for examples to our children who are learning our same cultural failures. We can't allow this to happen anymore, you guys. I watched a guy who almost died. He knew me very well. We know each other. We got very strong feelings for each other. He knows the lifestyle changes that I've made. He knows the reason why. He used to tease me about the way I eat, you guys. But you know what? Today, it's no joking matter. Today, he realizes if he doesn't make the changes that I made, he may experience some serious hardship. He may lose the only things that ever mattered to him his family, and his health, his life. 
You guys, this is your boy, Tone Duncan. I spread these messages to you because I truly love you, I truly care, and I want to see you change. Peace.